This is study about the effectiveness of the two doses of cefencitrate for preventing the apnea of prematurity. As you know, the apnea means the small babies, premature babies, they stop breathing. And cefencitrate has been uh, universally used to prevent apnea of prematurity. But as we know that all the medication do have side effects, so there are two approaches where some clinician prefers to titrate the dose as they go along, starting half dose and then they make it to the full dose. And so I have done this uh, retrospective st uh, uh, study which was prospectively collected for the giving the standard dose versus half dose. And then I have collected the data for the number of the shallow respiration, apnea and uh, breathing uh, desaturations. And this study has shown that uh, the standard dose is useful in preventing apnea or prematurity. So it's no use to titrate the low dose and then you go higher dose. And it has no complication, no side effects. And overall the advantage is the prevention of the apnea, desaturation, shallow breathing helps prep babies to uh, have a less intubation rate as well, even though it wasn't statistically significant. And one surprising finding which I found with my study is I am not sure about the caffeine help the babies to prevent feed intolerance. Maybe I relate that after full meal, the coffee is always served to the adults to digest. So maybe there is some indirect relationship which was just coincidental finding which I found in my, this particular study. As you can see, in the recommended dose, 49% of the baby having feed intolerance, and in the half dose, there were more, almost 70%. So this was one thing also could be useful, that we must give caffeine to the baby, which may help them to digest milk also. But this requires maybe more long-term and more big group of uh, big sample size to really prove it, that does caffeine help to digest, because sometimes it can cause a bit of acidity and all, but uh, this is another finding in my study. This is actually retrospectively case control cohort study where you know our clinician used to give first group of the clinicians were using only half dose and then they will titrate it. And when the day we realized that recommended dose is proven and caffeine has shown no side effects, we change to standard dose. Standard dose is 20 milligram of loading dose followed by five per kilo of 24 hourly doses. Previously, we were giving only 10 per kilo of loading followed by 2.5 of maintenance dose. In both the cases, we did achieve caffeine level. As we can see here, when you look at the caffeine level uh, here, the levels are achieved, but when you look at the half dose, it's in the lower percentile. It's almost like between third to fifth percentile, which is 9.3. But with the standard dose, the level achieved is within the range, is more towards 90th centile. So it shows that even though we were in the false belief that, oh, we have achieved caffeine level, maybe it wasn't enough. And there is this something called cumulative effect of the caffeine here. As we know, after two weeks, when you count the uh, apnea, brady, and prima, uh, uh, the total number of shallow respiration, apnea, and brady, and desaturation, the statistical significance does disappear. So after two weeks, caffeine does maintain the level which is necessary, but it's a bit too late, you know, the two weeks for it to achieve because we want to achieve within the first week when baby is going through a lot of roller coaster ride. So this study shows that uh, there is no harm in giving standardized dose, as well as there are now more towards giving early caffeine citrate, plus you should titrate the dose higher as far as you are not achieving any adverse effects. As far as baby is not tachycardic, not jittery, glucose levels are normal, you can give even higher dose in the smaller babies, particularly extremely low birth weight baby, where the major problem is this desaturation, where we'll end up intubating them just because of the multiple desaturation. So, caffeine is a safe drug, has been proven, and there is no doubt about doing the study, you know, that we, does caffeine works or no.
in the recent study by Bafura Stansfield from uh, caffeine apnea trial, uh, uh, which already proves that caffeine works even for preventing bronchopulmonary dysplasia, BPD. Even though I didn't get statistical significance in my, but overall numbers, when you see in the recommended dose, that it was 19 against 18% uh, uh, versus 9.5%, I didn't find much significant difference. But that particular study has proven caffeine is a safe drug. And maybe with the diuretic effect, with the decrease in feed intolerance, by reducing apnea of ready shallow respiration, it's a very, very useful drug and it's safe drugs.